Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. This is a, another part of the Spartacus Rises campaign. In the last part we took the Roman forces out of Sicily. Zoom out. Uh, obviously currently waiting for these settlements to sort themselves out, ready to sort out the infrastructure and then we'll finish off this army stack here to obviously get them maxed out and then we can start using them. And then we can start pushing the guys from Sicily over to Corsica and then the last rebel settlements, well I wouldn't say rebel, but Roman settlements in Africa. And then we can focus off on these guys because we're going to have to take these Satorian rebels out. And I think it's one other faction, I can't remember the top of my head. It's been I'll say about four or five days since I played this. I've been playing a lot of Civ Beyond Earth in the meanwhile. But let's try and sort these out because we're here. Uh, let's get some public order and some sanitation. We'll do some infrastructure first, and then we can do some troops. what level our spires. They're quite high so we'll move them across. How's it lagging so much? Bloody hell game. Oh it's slow as hell. Let's move over to Carolis. And then we see if we can build any troops. We should be able to now I think in Rome so yeah. Start building him. Uh, Seville Spearman. No, we won't for the meanwhile. And then we'll move him southwards. Saying that. I oh, know we didn't start building it, did we? For Freedom Fighters. Fuck it, we'll just do this army as uh, number ones. The next army we'll do, we'll do Freedom Fighters in. Otherwise, we've got to wait like eight turns for that to be built. Seems to be very safe for me today, it's a bit weird. But this is going to be a quick one because I will be going out to the pubs very soon. To get drunk and drink some Chang as the Rambler says. Okay, let's sort some food out. Uh, do -do -do -do. that, and then, okay, we've got some stuff sorted. As soon as we get our army done, we'll move them southwards, and then we build another one, because we've got the money to do it now, so. By the flame, oh, okay, fair I enough, that's okay for me. Search complete. So let's see what we could do now. Eight food. Is that worth it? Yeah. So we're gonna get food from that. Well, from all regions. Public order. Mm -hmm. uh, political public order. Tax rate. could do some diplomacy at least and start off with the other guys let's go that route oh so we are getting freedom fires Urgh. cancel 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 that's a bit annoying let's move him down to there So they're ready for the next turn to start building. Mm. 
Okay, what have we got? Okay, the Rome, Roman, Rome have quite a bit of forces there. And now we've got that one. Whoa, look at the money! Jesus Christ, man. There's no money at the beginning of this campaign, and we've got bloody millions. Yeah. Soldiering! It's a good life! Well, according to this, you can only get, f cannot recruit unit. You already recruited this maximum number of this unit. So I suppose you can only do four of them. So I'll just whack that one in, and they would have to be the spearmen for the next. And then ballista. Who's got ballista? Or did we not do ballista yet? No, we could, mustn't have. No, no, we have. Well, how can't we get there then? What? Oh no, no, it's that. Okay, so um, we hunger for battle. Five. So I put another one of these guys in. Civil veterans. So ten turns until that's done. Okay, fair it is. What we'll do, obviously, is get a. Raise an army with some freedom fighters. We'll stick him in there, and we'll stick some basic units in this this dude. Because obviously money will go down quite a bit, but we can obviously leave him in Rome and then move the other one down then. Well, across actually, we can move him across to LBA or. But we've got to wait until that ten turns is done. See what we've got up here first. I serve only Rome. In Rome's service. Well, we can get away with some more food, can't we? Could we even get away with that? Twelve food, nine hundred wealth, not yet. 17, let's do this then. We get the food. Let's do that so we can get freedom fighters in there. And that'll be it. Because obviously, the rest of the money is going to go down, so we might as well start building them buildings while we can. Especially if we prefer these guys, we will be going to war with them at some point. We will have to keep moving our army stack south, and we could just stick one at Rome. Close to the border. Roman Alliance, that's going to help. Stop the adoption, obviously. We don't want that happening. Uh, food, seven. Might as well do this one. Upgrade that so you can upgrade our troops. If it's a 49 and that's going up, we might as well do this one as well. Cool master. Obviously they will go down a hell of a lot. 380 per freedom fighter unit, but not enough for us to go bankrupt at least. Let's see what we have got so far. One turn until that's done, okay. Let's see what happens. Then we can start moving them across. Four thousand, yeah, that's gone down a bit. We get some more with two, four, and then six. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I may actually start moving some of these units over now. I think we're right. 
Food's gone up. Two cues. Let's stick. Well, we're on 36 there. Let's build this one up first. We get some artillery on the wall because that's going to be the one closest to the enemy here. And Syracuse, maybe? 12 food, though. 24. No, let's do one at a time. Even with that upgraded, we need to take a few more cements before we do anything. Ready for orders. So let's move these across. Start attacking, and then we'll move this guys from Syracuse up to there. Get to it, men. Ready for orders. Okay, that's done. as well so again a bit be better diplomacy now which is good the gradation ditches has gone up a bit 21 we get away with that I right, get some more food and then same with this yeah and then we can do one of these ones because obviously your money's gone down a little bit now Commander. two turns for get these to land the old beer, take that first and then we can move down. Fleet reported. All hands to the oars. Oh my, okay cool. Makes sense. Okay, so money's starting to go down a bit now, so let's try and obviously get that back up. But we've got the units that we wanted, pretty much got two new army stacks, so Considering money was a very poor thing, or well, literally a poor thing in the beginning of the campaign, now we've got too much bloody money. Moving out. Yeah, now it's, got, it's gone down a hell of a lot now. Our voyage is done. Okay. We've only command. got one more unit, so that's alright. I mean, we're not building any more for that, so. Let's keep the money we've got, I think. So we can convert things over. Oh shit, they've just taken that. So let's quickly move on to the other settlement. Oh, it's obviously too late. And they're taking that settlement as well. Ooh. So, risk. Yes, they're taking them settlements for Romans. Okay, we've got to move obviously to this area now and try and take the last settlement of the Romans. Or that we know of, obviously. Let's try and assassinate this dude. Probably not too bad, we've been able to get the whole island, but. Either way, we got the province capital. And then we obviously will have to take these guys next. Because Rome would be taken out, and then obviously they've got all the real estate that we need. So we'll build up before we attack them anyways. What do you wish of me? I will give them passage. Enemy assassinated. We hope besieging the settlement. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we're going to have to... Obviously siege. siege to the settlement. Hey, okay. Um Fair Doodles. Who's gonna be quick? Well, this is gonna take a while to get them, isn't it? So if not, we'll just have to retreat and then attack with these the second army stack. 
when they do get there. But either way, we're sieging. Might try and poison the uh, settlement as well. It's probably because they got fixed artillery and shit, so. My skills are yours. Oh, that's the thing, is we've got money, we can try and do some uh, secure some promotions. Why doesn't it open anything? On? Click on them again. And then, uh, oh, very strange. What's the going there? Okay, let's quickly check this. Let's compute that promotion. Okay. Just have to wait for these to get there, won't we? It's going to take a while, but... In the meanwhile, we might try and get them to do the siege thing for us anyways. They might surrender after the seven or eight turns of time it gets there. And they've just moved the a huge army stack, but if we keep doing that and they attack, we'll still get the settlement. Well, I think that's how it works. It's been a while since I've done that. Person rate for armies, so let's go with this route so we can get that one done and then we'll try and sort this out as well. For death and honor! Uh, we could upgrade one of the settlements here as well. Buy another one, we'll get more money in as well actually. So let's do that. Oh, our bee's been taken as well, which is good. So we can quickly wrap that up once we've... Uh, okay, good job we did move them guys over. Roman herbs. We got that herbs, man. Okay, money's just gone up a bit there, which is good. Uh, we do, ooh, let's actually do that one, because that's boarding onto these guys. So, yep, 100% that one first. Anything which is against the, these enemies, the green guys, we shall do. Again, we'd have to wait until they get there. But. Satorian rebels, that's the guys. That's what they're called. And once we get other settlement built, I'll finish off that last, the army stack at Rome. Come on guys. Okay, they just took that back, but we should be there in a minute. The time it takes is four turns. Uh, we'll probably get it anyways. Again. We do have siege towers and shit now, and I think the other one's moved off. So once that second army stack comes in, we can probably just take it without doing a battle. Your people are widely admired. No, and they're war with the people that I don't want to be at war with. So. The oh, so we can take that anyways. But let's None do that first. Escape. Move this one in. Plus we've got these guys here, so I assume that's going to affect it. There's no point in doing that battle, it's ridiculously in my favour. So... But, definitely will be some battles against these Satorian Rebel guys, so... No doubt, no worry about that. And these guys are just ranked up, which is very good. we we'll raise that. Okay, the Romans are still knocking about, so obviously, well, I'll leave his, well, he's here now, so we'll, we'll keep him there. We'll keep him on the borders, so he's obviously securing that against Satorian rebels in case they do anything stupid. Which we don't want. Probably all penalties due to local presence of foreign cultures. 
Okay, let's do that. Purple and then sanitation. So that's all done. And we can obviously quickly, quickly get these built up. And fortunately, these twats have got the rest of the province. So they should shoot off now. There we go, they've gone back. Boys in the Wales, Samacus. Oh, so they've actually still stayed there, which is pretty annoying. But Populus is going to be a bit more happier. And these just being poisons. What are you doing, you bastards? Oh, they're going to attack. Oh, and they've actually got seven. Just realised this has gone red, so we should be able to move one of these guys down in a minute once every plan a little bit. That's weird. Yeah, so it should be one of the African uh, settlements they've just recaptured off the um, Satorian rebels. The hungry dogs yeah, that's cool. All around. We might be able to get some trade with them as well, to, to Bali. So let's have a look. Welcome. We will talk and then we No, not yet. It's probably no, we can't do that. So what have I got here? Uh Hippo Regius. Oh, like I said, we're gonna have to wait until that's can these guys go? No, not for yet. These can though. So these will move over. And they'll go towards TPO. And then we'll stick these guys in the settlement, which is actually pretty good. I uh, managed to get all that done. So money's gone up now, which is good. So I'll actually stick a couple units in here. Might even do all of them, to be perfectly honest. Where's the brutes? Where's the freedom fighters then? Kind of, you've already recruited a max number of this unit. It's fucking weird, man. Oh, okay. Maybe you can only have four within the whole campaign. Fuck it, let's just fill them out then. So, four turns until they're all done. And then we can try and take this and finish off Rome once and for all. But I think the best thing for this campaign is obviously try and take out Rome first. They, you're going to have to take them out anyways because they're right on your doorstep. Hence you are the rebels after all. But um, I've just been taken by uh, the Ligates. So let's move back. Um, yeah, so the best thing is obviously try and pep away at them and then do what I'm doing now is take out the rest. But the main threat and the one I need to do for the objectives are these guys. So once we get um, things sorted here with the Romans, once they start getting things taken out, we'll, um, well, these guys get wiped out. I'll move one of the army stacks back up to here and they can stay at Hatcher. So we've got two of the provinces next to them in Italy are covered and then we'll move these guys upwards. Because at the moment, obviously, it's best to leave these two army stacks here because they've got two army stacks. I'll upgrade this. Oh, that's cool. Green. Might do red here. Where are the armies? Sicilia. Do we need it there? They could attack. 
We'll wait until Roma kind of sorted, and then uh, we'll move him up to obviously go to Hatria, and then we have the two here so they can push up. So these two will kill, go through and then land, or push up towards there, and obviously these two will start moving up towards it. They, they have got a shit ton of provinces. See, they're all the way over here, so it's going to take a while to kill them. The other big faction is the uh, Celtic Confederation, which again, all up here. Best thing to do is see who these guys are friends with. Bollocks, mini shadows. Fuck. We're gonna have to try and get chummy with these. Welcome! We will talk and then we will feast until our guts rumble and our backsides ache from Well we'll try and sort it out once we get some more money in. We have to bribe him or something. The way is blocked. If not, we're gonna have some trouble on our hands. Two of the biggest factions in this campaign all at once. But at least they make it a bit interesting. <laughs> To say the least. Sit them there. Okay, they're all level twos now. It's good. Hatches has gone up. Fee's gone down, but we can now. Uh, that's going down. That's going down. Uh, let's do one of these ones. Roma off. So we can do. This no, oh no, we can't we don't have enough money. Do it next turn and then I'll think I'll finish the part there. I think that'd be best. It's twice that's done that. It zoomed in and obviously they retreat. Weird. Very weird. Ready to command, Statesman, Kanakis. Now we can do that. Field of Mars. <coughs> oh, so even with that being a full on, army state now, that's, you know, we've still got 3,200, which is pretty good. So we'll do another army stack as well, which we should be able to do. Yeah, we can get up to six now, so it's alright. So again, we'll do that, and then we'll attack. I think once this one's built up, we shall attack the enemy. Who that may be is a different question, but obviously we're most likely going to be these guys, but what I meant is uh, in case these guys join in as well. So, oh, so they're quite... We can kill them off quite easy. Shouldn't that's the same with them. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that part. Sorry if there wasn't any battles, but obviously there will be shit going down in the next part when I just care war on these guys or potentially the two biggest factions in the campaign thus far. We fought Romans hard. <laughs> this ain't nothing. See you guys next time.